up y'all and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is april aka aelin styles and today is another fashion friday so on this episode of fashion friday it's going to be a part two of how to style blazers hopefully you see my first video if you didn't Oh, what are you doing? Go ahead and watch part one of how I style blazers for the summertime. Now, it is officially fall. Yes, yesterday was the official start date of fall. But, of course, if you're living on the East Coast or many places down south, wherever, it is still warm outside. It's going to still be warm for a few more weeks. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I style these blazers for the fall time. Yes, so let's get into the video. So like I said, this is part two of the blazer series videos. This is how to style blazers for the fall time. I'm going to pop up the first one here. If you haven't seen it, go check that one out. These are going to be the same blazers I featured in that video, so make sure you check that out. So, styling 101 for the fall. The leaves are falling. The temperatures are getting cooler. We're going to be layering. We're going to be wearing boots and tights and up. Uh, so excited this is the pink crop top from she and it wraps around and you can tie it in the back in the previous video I styled it up a little more edgy I decided to pair this with my favorite print ever which is houndstooth so this cute little flare fun houndstooth skirt it's like a sweater knit material is so good the skirt is also from Shein. i got this in a size six i probably should have got it in a four um but i love this i decided to roll the sleeves up a bit i threw on this um it's like a crop a crop sweater vest from zara last season um, and my favorite part about this look is the black uh, booties, okay? The black patent leather booties are from Shoe Dazzle, and I think these complete yeah, the look. I also um, had a v-neck bodysuit, like a deep V. I thought that was super sexy. So I decided to go a little bit more modest with the sweater vest. I mean, you like a little peekaboo belly, which I love that. A little bit of skin there. And of course, we have our legs out, you know, our little booties. Other great thing about this skirt and top, minus the blazer, is... Is you can pair it with green oh my goodness the green with the black and white with the hound's tooth is giving me everything so I'm going to show you guys how I style this up as well with the skirt and the booties so we're just trying to give you guys options okay options so if you don't want to wear the pink blazer with it pink is not really your thing i mean i don't know why pink ain't your thing but you know whatever i'm not judging you i'm not judging you so if pink is not your thing you might have a green blazer you might want to get a green blazer when well, you guys are feeling better are you feeling the pink cropped are you feeling the green let me know down below so this is another way i styled the green blazer you saw before i styled the blazer with the hound's tooth skirt as well as the pink blazer but I, I absolutely love that one with the hound's tooth skirt like I said that's my favorite print but I am also loving this one so this is there these are different ways you can wear what you already have in your wardrobe okay so this one is for all my neutral girls I mean I guess I I mean you know all girls so um the, the blazer is not too too neutral there I mean it, it is colorful it is kind of colorful, but <laughs> but I paired it with this um, crop top from Forever 21. It's actually longer. Let me step back. It actually comes down to here, which, you know, is, is modest, but I wanted to make it a little more cropped because it's a lot going on. The jeans are wide and big, the jacket is long, so I wanted to show a little bit of skin. And this is perfect for fall, like when it's not super, super cold yet, it's still sunny. I got my sunnies here. So this top is from Forever 21. This blazer is from Fashion Nova in a size medium. I paired it with this brown chain bag, which I believe is like a Bottega dupe, which is from Miss Lola. The jeans are from the jeans are from H&M. I was about to say Zara. But the jeans are from H&M. And the nude heels are from Ego Official. The thing about this look is I wish the jacket, the blazer had like a little button closure. That would look super cute, closed up, super sophisticated, super classy. Even with the little peekaboo of the, you know, little midriff showing. I still love that. I'm still giving, you know, classy. 
I love this green blazer with the dark denim. I also styled it in the summer, the summer, previous summer um, blazer video with some dark denim shorts. But of course, those are some short shorts. Did I do that? Yeah, those are some short, short shorts giving you legs, honey. Giving you legs and hips body body <laughs> this one is definitely a little bit more covered up for the fall of course um but yeah i would probably do like a little cute little gold pin maybe or brooch safety pin or something would be cute here but i love this blazer i mean i love i mean can you blame me i say i love all the pieces that i put together because i'm the one putting them together you know i know my style i know what looks good on me at a certain point in your life you just you just figure it out you know so if you're not there yet you just got to keep trying different things you got to see what works for you what style what cut what color you and of course for your body type I am slim I'm petite I figured out pretty much what has worked for me it's you know I just had another baby a year ago so I'm still trying to work around you know the mom belly area so like I said, you just got to try different things to figure out what works best for you and your body type. You know, you want to wear things that make you feel confident, make you feel feel good, right? This next blazer look, I saw this yellow blazer which has some cutout details. It's a little asymmetrical. It is giving everything. The, quali the quality of this blazer is like giving me Zara quality, but it is from Shein. If you saw it in a previous video, how I styled it for the summertime, let me know which one you prefer better, the summertime look for this yellow blazer or the fall time. So I wanted to edge it up a little bit. I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but it's still giving me. It's still like my style. I hope you guys can't hear the dog or the lawnmower outside. Hopefully you can hear me. Ugh. The joys of being a content creator. Hopefully neither one of them wake my baby up. So I decided to pair it with um, just a basic white tee. I wish I had like a black and white graphic tee that would have like set it off for me. But I don't have one of those. So I just decided to cut up an old tee. Just cut it straight down the middle. Tied it up. You know because all the girls are doing that right now. That style is very much in. So I just cut it down the middle. Tied it up. Um, I paired this outfit with some leopard leggings which are from fashion nova i paired it with the black bag which is also from fashion nova so i also paired this look with some combat boots which are from shoe dazzle so i thought this gave it more of an edge the leather bag the leather boots with the gold accents and then of course my black sunnies from she and i got is in my wardrobe i didn't have to go out and buy anything new it's like my mom was like we got food at home april you have clothes at home. You got clothes at home. You will not need to buy nothing. I don't know. It's like my toxic trait is feeling like I have to buy something new for every event I go to. When you got clothes at home, girl, you don't need to buy nothing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I love doing these videos because this is my way of pulling out what I already have in my closet and reworking them, styling them up, doing them different ways. That's what I'm going to be doing. Tell me what you guys think about this look. Would you rock it or would you put on some heels? Because this would definitely look cute with some heels as well. Let me know what you guys so this think. This is how we're going to transition this pink blazer into the fall. So I paired it with this white um, off the shoulder long sleeve ribbed top. This is from Forever 21 a few years ago. And it's long sleeves but the blazer is the three quarter length sleeve. So I just cropped it up. Just pushed up the sleeves a little bit or you can leave it long if that's your style that will probably be cute leave it long and put on like some gold accessories some gold bracelets i'm not really big on bracelets because my wrists are super tiny um i might wear them every once in a while but you won't see me too often in bracelets but i did decide to style it with some gold accessories so some gold studs this gold little choker necklace from pretty little thing my favorite parts of this outfit, well, I'm loving every part of this outfit, okay? I love pink and blue together. So, this blue bag is giving you texture, honey. This is from Shoe Dazzle. I love this bag. The color, the texture, the gold chain detail. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. it is everything so that blue up against that pink is everything and i paired it with uh, some blue and gold sunnies 
Of course, my next favorite item are the wide leg sweatpants. I mean, talk about an elevated casual look. These sweatpants are from Fashion Nova. Love these on a casual day, flat sneakers. But I paired it with some blue heels because they are super long. Um, the heels are about four or five inches and you know, they're still dragging the ground and I just hiked them up to make them even more high-waisted. So I love them. tall, 5'4". And I love when I can wear heels and they still like sweep the, sweep the ground. Sweep the ground, hey, scrub the ground. Scrub the ground. Scrub the ground. I mean, I'm short, so I really don't normally have that problem, but I absolutely love long, long, long pants. It's giving me, and you know, it makes me look a little bit taller than I am, I think. Um, but yeah, I love the trousers. Like I said, they're from Fashion Nova. And with the pink, the white, the blue, and the gold accessories. Honey, she is giving... She's giving elevated casual. She's giving lunch. She's giving this is 75 degrees. It's 65 degrees and she's still cute. She's comfortable. Her little blazer. The blazer is not super thick. It's, you know, it has like the little um, satin liner. But, you know, I can still sit outside and have lunch in the fall time with this fit. I am loving it. Now, tell me, are you guys going to be wearing colors into the fall and winter season? I have been loving color probably the last couple of years. I used to wear black a whole lot. And I realized that I think that I was just depressed. And you know, we as black women sometimes are, it's like... We learn to be functional in our depression. And that is a conversation for a whole nother day. But honey, I've been wearing color for a few years now because mommy is happy. Mommy man happy. And I've noticed, I've noticed a switch up in my wardrobe as far as colors. So I think I definitely will be sticking around with the colors into the fall and winter time. You know, you know, I love black. Black is classic. Nudes and neutrals are cute. But color is just, you know, it kind of just makes me happy. And I think I'm going to continue to stick with color throughout the fall season. Okay, so you guys let me know. Are you guys going to be wearing color? Are you into neutrals, blacks for the fall and winter time? Now, I don't want to call favorites or anything, but this might be my favorite. <laughs> it's going to be more for the later fall because this sweater dress is super, super warm. Now this uh, blazer, it's not super thick. It's definitely, like I said, you can transition from summer to fall with this blazer. But um, if you remember last year, this dress was super, super, super popular. It has the back cutout. I got mine on Shein for $10, okay? So I love this knit dress. So it's like a cream knit long sleeve sweater dress. I threw on the blue blazer from Shein. The boots are from Shoe Dazzle. I mean, cream boots, the cream with the cream. I mean. Um, also, the orange bag. I decided to do a pop of color, so I added this orange bag, which is also from Shein. And the little cute cream or off-white cream sunglasses are also from Shein. And now, you can't tell me this is not a look. And then my gold bangles are from Alex and Ani. Now, y'all can't tell me this is not a look. I cannot wait for fall. This is what gets me so excited for fall. Like the layering of it all. I mean, the pieces. We're going to make these pieces hit that we already got at home, okay? Y'all ain't got to go out and buy nothing. I mean, unless you absolutely have to. You want to have certain staples in your wardrobe. But I mean, you know, I know you got a colorful bag. You might not have a blazer. You got to get a blazer. Blazers are staple. Okay, you got to have at least two things two to three blazers in your wardrobe sweater dresses will never really go out of style i don't think i love sweater dresses very much a date night approved i mean when you go inside that restaurant and go ahead and take that jacket off i mean hey y'all so this last blazer look is this brown one from fashion nova also in a size medium um now i gave you two different options I think both of them are a little more on the edgier side. So the first look, I paired the brown blazer with some mom shorts. So those are from Forever 21. The blue top is actually H&M Kids. Yes, that's right. Still has a tag on it. 
size a 6x7 so yes that is a knit top actually came in a set so it has shorts and that top it came in a set well you I purchased them separately um I purchased that for my daughter last year and it was super super big and mommy is pretty and petite and it has it look how look how much it stretches though so it's giving, literally and figuratively, it's very, very much giving in the stretch department. The color is just absolutely beautiful. I love this royal blue color. You a little bit of an edge, okay? I gave you a little bit of color blocking. Pair this look with my Orange Ego Official Boots. I'm not sure if they're Ego Official or Public Desire. I actually got them, I actually got those boots as a gift last Christmas. I believe um so yeah they're either from public decide public desire or ego official and I paired it with my brown Miss Lola bag with the gold chain I love this look and I also decided to give you another look cuz I'm I'm like I didn't give y'all no hat looks and what is fall without some hats okay so and I have plenty of them so I wanted to pair this um, brown blazer with a pop of red so I put out my red cabbie hat from Shein to do an all denim look I really couldn't get this look fully together I'm still gonna be working on it to see how um, I'm gonna love it I don't absolutely love it right now um, I do love the denim on denim however I do wish I had a dark denim bustier or a dark denim top which I think would pair better with the brown blazer for fall. Um, the lighter denim is giving me more of springtime vibes, summer vibes, which is okay. But like I said, I definitely would have preferred to would have preferred to pair the brown blazer with all dark denim. Now that would have been everything. Um, so like I said, I'm still trying to figure out this look, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys um, what ideas pop in my mind. Like, I, I put all these blazers together, and as I'm getting dressed, I have other ideas that pop in my head. And I'm like, well, let me try this, or let me try this, or try this color with this color. And I think brown and red, <laughs> brown and red are just so beautiful together. So beautiful. So, I couldn't decide if I wanted to do... No, I didn't want to do too much red. I had the red bag, the red sunnies, the red hat, the red booties, the red heels. No, I wouldn't do the sunnies with the hat and the bag. I feel like there's too much red. I wasn't sure if I felt comfortable doing the, the hat and the sunnies. I was I was kind of feeling there, but I wasn't sure. I'm going to go ahead and look through the camera and see if I like it. I'll look at the video to see if I really yeah. like it. Give me some ideas on how you would style these two items. If I just wanted to... For sure, for sure, I wanted to wear the brown blazer and the red hat. What else would you put together with this look? Now, this one is cute. I love the all denim. Like I said, darker denim would have been better for me. The red heels, super cute. It's like fun, edgy vibe. Um, I don't know. I'm just, like I said, I'm still working it out. But I just wanted to show you guys my thought process on how I get dressed a little bit, my ideas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part two of styling blazers for the fall. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of me, your girl April, aka Aileen Styles. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <sighs> so I also paired this look with some combat boots. So this is, this, <laughs> my God. So I also paired this look with some...